Having fast loading speeds is essential when creating a web application. A few extra seconds could have a huge impact on the number of users visiting your site. This means that having a fast site is important, not just for ranking well in Google search engine, but for having users interact with your web page. In this video, we will be taking a look at using lazy loading components in Vue 3 to speed up your page loading times. In this example, we have a secret image component that displays an interactive graphic of the Vue logo only when the user is authenticated. To prevent intruders from seeing our most valuable asset, we have added a button that toggles the visibility of this component. While building the secret image component, we used many complex libraries causing the amount of JavaScript code to increase. Building our app, we can see it creates a large vendors file which will be loaded on our initial request to our site. To fix this, we can use the new define async component function which comes with Vue 3. All we need to do to use it is pass a function that loads our component. Since Vue comes pre-configured with Webpack, we can use the dynamic import feature. Now, when we build our app, we can see a new file has been created and the vendor file has significantly reduced. When we log in, we can see a new request being created to load our secret image component. We can look further and see that this component just contains the JavaScript Webpack code needed. Since we are loading this component later, there may be a short delay while the lazy loaded part of your UI is being requested and rendered. We can additionally pass in a loading component property which will display while the component is being loaded. However, using this approach can be restrictive as it is hard to pass props or slots to loading components. To add more flexibility, we can use the new suspense component which allows us to define async loading content as a component in the template. All we have to do is call the suspense component and pass in a component for the default and fallback slots. The default slot is displayed when the async content has loaded and the fallback slot is displayed when the content is loading. Now we can easily pass any properties we need to either of the components. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you gain an understanding on how to improve the loading speeds of your Vue 3 application. If you enjoyed my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about any new videos. Hope to see you in the next one.